Computer Answers here, and I'm very excited to show you guys this video today. What it is is a tutorial on how to freeze time in Cinema 4D and move the camera around. This is a really cool effect. And recently I made an intro for Comedy Alliance using this effect. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Uh, so here it is. Actually, what I should do is restart it first. So there's some cool effects going on. As you can see, the time's frozen in Cinema 4D and it's still moving and zooming in in 3D space so you can tell it's not just time remapping and after effects or anything. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Now what you want to do is create a new project and let's add a floor plane and let's create some text go into the object and let's call this text and what I like to do is make it in all caps depth about 100 font typograph pro if you do not have typograph pro go ahead and click on the annotation on the screen and you can get it extra bold choice and caps, fillet cap, fillet cap to about, so it's not as dynamic maybe. So now what this part of the video is going to be showing you guys how to create that explosion in order to get to a cool time freeze effect. However, if you just want to skip to the time freeze spot, you, uh, I'll put a time link in the description that you guys can go ahead and click on or a comment or something and it'll bring you to that point. So in order to create the explosion I used a plugin cr called Throssi, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's from Nitro, there'll be a link in the description to get that. Um, what it does is it breaks text and so I'll show you if you just apply the uh, uh, effect to just the text what it'll do and this is not what I was looking for so I'll show you. If you go ahead and use Throssi on just the normal Mo text, go ahead and break it into like 25 pieces. Uncheck this, break now. What it does is it breaks each letter into 25 pieces, and that's not what I want. So, I'll show you how to fix that. See, as you can see, if we had add a collider uh, simulation to the floor, it adds it is 25 pieces to each letter. Now that's not what I want. I want maybe a total of 30 pieces for the entire text. So, what let's what I'll do is go ahead and reset my text. So my text is now reset. Now what you want to do is hit C on your keyboard. For some reason when you make an object editable, edible, edible, editable. <laughs> it breaks it into three null objects don't know why and then I guess an extrude object I thought it was something else but anyways an extrude object and then into a spline now that's not what we want so go ahead and hit all the extrude objects and go ahead and hit C on your keyboard and it breaks them into all the polygon objects now from there what you want to do is go ahead and open up each one and in the comments could you guys let me know if there's a better way to do this cause this is kind of a pain. What you want to do is go into each one and kind of take out each part. And I'll kind of skip over this in the video. Okay, so now that we're done with that, what you want to do is first delete these null objects. Now highlight all of your polygon objects and right click, connect and delete makes them into one single polygon object so now we can apply Throssi and let's go maybe 30 pieces unclick that, break now breaks the whole thing into 30 pieces as you can see it's just 30 pieces and now kinda just slides really unrealistically but as you can see if you wanna want that effect it's good for that. Um, so now then, what we want to do 
is make the text kind of shoot up. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and make a sphere. Kind of move it into the center about, maybe a little bit down, and add a dynamics tag to it. And what this is going to do is cause the sphere to shoot up because this two and it like contradicts with the other dynamics tag. So as you can see, it shoots it up, kind of like an explosion. Easiest way I think to create an explosion. Anyways, so that's that. However, when you rent, when you, <laughs> when you render here, you're going to see this sphere. So in order to fix that, some of 4D tags, compositing unchecked, uh, seen by camera, received shadows, cast shadows, seen by transparency, re refraction, and reflection. So now, it's all fixed. So, now that we have our exploding text, we can go into the time freeze section. Okay, so now what we want to actually do is create the time freeze. Now in order to do that, what you want to do is hit Command-D or Control-D on a PC, uh, or you could go edit project settings. Bring up project settings over here, and first thing you want to do is click on the dynamics tag. Tab in uh, version 11.5 of Cinema 4D, it'll say Mo, Dynam Mo Dynamics. So you want to find the spot you want the time to freeze. So about the third frame looks good. So we're going to be messing with these two here today. What you want to do is hit control and click on the circle here and then go two frames about forward zero percent and control click now time is frozen if you want it to be a longer slower process of time freezing you can just increase the amount between the two keyframes and if you go into your timeline you can see the two keyframes and I could spread them out if I want like that. Um, so now that we've frozen time, what we want to do now is create a camera. So go ahead and go into your camera and let's actually animate this camera from the beginning. So go ahead and keyframe and then let's go to maybe 30 frames and zoom in, rotate a little bit, that keyframe. So now, as you can see, we have created a time freeze with the camera moving. Pretty cool. Okay, so now that we've completed the time freeze effect, let's go ahead and do this other effect that I did in the video. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys this. Um, what it is, is it's kind of frozen and then all of a sudden all the pieces drop instead of continuing on their explosion route they just kinda fall so in order to do this what you want to do is go back in to your project settings and I'd recommend putting it at about 25 frames or well your camera is still moving just because it's better and kinda control click on this and control now actually we'll do that second go one frame and you know what actually let's go a few frames like three and one hundred percent and control click and then go back a few frames back to where you started the time scale coming back click on this gravity and then go forward and crank it up to me actually let's just go ahead and put it up to like six thousand and control click that and then as you can see they just kinda drop alright so although we have finished this as you can see when I play it the uh, pieces of the text kind of slide along the floor very unrealistically so to fix this what you want to do is actually go into the rigid body tag of the uh, object here and you want to mess around with the bounce and the friction. So what we could do is go ahead and turn the bounce down to maybe like 10-15% and turn the friction up. 
So if we now look at it, it's a little bit better. Maybe turn the friction down. So it's, it's basically just messing with the settings here. And that looks alright. Maybe turn the balance up 15%. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, so I'm really excited about this. There's a few other things that I might show you guys that in this video, not this video, but in a future video tutorial. Um, hopefully yours turned out better than this test because I'm not exactly the happiest with it, the way, I don't know, just the ending. Uh, but hopefully you guys learned something today and really comment if you have any questions, send me a message, um, thank you guys for watching, remember, rate, comment, and subscribe, it actually really, really helps out the videos, um, and that's about it, so I'll be posting some more tutorials later on, thanks.